Have you ever wondered how a pipeline built to connect two nations can become shrouded in such mystery, controversy, and political intrigue? Today, we delve into the enigma of the Israeli-Iranian pipeline. In the late 1960s, a joint venture between Israel and Iran gave birth to the Eilat Ashkelon Pipeline Company, EAPC. This pipeline, initially built to transport Iranian oil via Israel to the Mediterranean, became a symbol of cooperation between the two nations. However, the landscape drastically changed after Iran's Islamic Revolution in 1979. The ties between the two nations severed, marking a significant shift in the pipeline's operation. Despite this, EAPC continued to exist, transforming into a major distributor of oil in Israel with ambitions of becoming a leading trade hub. In a twist of events, Israel formed a new company in the 21st century, the Europe-Asia Pipeline Company, EAPCB. This new entity was formed to replace EAPC and maintain control over its operations. This strategic move ensured that the pipeline's operations remained under Israeli control, further deepening the intrigue surrounding it. But the mystery doesn't end there. An Israeli parliamentary committee ruled that EAPC can continue to operate in secrecy. This gag order has been extended for five more years and now includes EAPCB. The reason? It remains undisclosed, adding another layer to the enigma. The secrecy surrounding EAPC has not been without criticism. Especially after a major oil spill in 2014, the company's operations have come under scrutiny. Yet, the primary dealings of the company, including the sources of oil and how it is used, continue to be under strict censorship. So what started as a symbol of cooperation between two nations, today stands as a monument of secrecy, controversy, and political intrigue. The Israeli-Iranian pipeline, once a conduit for Iranian oil, now operates under a shroud of mystery, its operations concealed from the public eye. In summary, the Israeli-Iranian pipeline's history is as complex and intriguing as the politics of the region itself. From its establishment in the late 1960s as a symbol of cooperation, to its transformation into a major oil distributor, after the severing of ties in 1979, its operations have been marred by secrecy and controversy. Today, the pipeline continues to operate under a gag order, its dealings hidden from the world, its operations a subject of speculation and intrigue. The pipeline's history, operations, and the controversies surrounding it serve as a fascinating reflection of the region's intricate political landscape. As the pipeline continues to function in secrecy, it remains a testament to the enduring mystery and intrigue that surround it.